Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. So did you know that you can get a letter of recommendation and they, they can switch your days to, for you not to work on a Sabbath day? Because over here in the land of America, which is AKA Babylon the Great, God have made it a way to where you can actually keep a Sabbath day because they respect or they honor uh, religious beliefs, right? So they, they so what you can't so here's the thing you have to find an excuse to do it yeah. not an excuse not to do it much is given much is required so if you got some understanding you should be out there helping your brothers and sisters gain understanding you understand i agree 100 yeah. i don't go to a building to do it i don't go to the church to do it but I, when i talk to people i always share knowledge okay so I let me show you let me show you the knowledge you're supposed to be sharing read the book of joshua chapter one the book of malachi chapter three and verse seven two and seven for the priest lips to keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth. Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. What's that word? Should keep knowledge. Knowledge. That's the knowledge that we're talking about, right? It said the priest's lips are supposed to keep knowledge. Read. That's right. And they should seek the law. The what? The law. The what? The law. The laws. Where are the laws found that? The laws of God. Um, God in the beginning. Um, all throughout the Bible. Yeah, all throughout, yeah. So you have to, that's the knowledge you're supposed to be professing. That's the knowledge that you're supposed to be Learning. You understand that? Hey, hey, brother, I'm with you 100%. hey, look, let me show you some laws. Let me show love, you some laws, brother. I, I, I get more than my... Let me show you some laws. Give me a little bit. Hold, drop that. Hold, hold Joshua 1 and 8 and give me Leviticus, uh, the beard law. Let me show you. So, you know, what about what about your beard? What about my beard? You, you said the priest's lips are supposed to keep knowledge. I can't grow up here, man. Yes, you can. This is as much as... Hey, listen, listen. I get a couple of hairs here and there. I'm, I hey, don't even, I don't even you know, know what? Hey, Joe, man. hey, hey, that's how we all was when we first started out. But our beards are growing in, you gotta let it grow. No, you, wanna, no, no, you, gotta, no. you gotta let it line up. I get one, I don't even get that much, man. I get a couple of hairs, man. I'm okay. growing myself, man. If I could grow some, I would. But this is all. So, you know what's the law to keep the beard, right? I, I keep my goatee, that's all I got. Okay, so what about your fringes? What about the Sabbath day? Give me that. Give me one and up, too. Well, Let me get the friends wrong. Yet, you that's why we trying to. You got to listen. What Sabbath are we talking about? Saturday or Sunday now? What Sabbath? It's only it's, one Sabbath day. Exactly. Which it's only Saturday. Right. What's, most, what's today? Most activities. Today is Saturday. And you think the enemy? So you think the earth? This since the earth is ruling by wicked people, right? The earth is under a wicked dimension right now. So they got it set up for you to get your paycheck on Friday, so you can break God's Sabbath day the next day. You understand that? But you falling right into the system. You got the, that's why I look. I got no choice. I got work. I usually work Saturday. Bro, you got a choice. Yeah. What's, what's your name again? Robert Underwood. Robert Underwood. Yes, you have a choice. That's why I said in the beginning, why don't you come to the building? We show people how to do it. We all work jobs, good jobs, good paying jobs. But guess what we do? We keep the Sabbath day holy. We, and we try to show you how to keep the Sabbath day holy as well. You understand that? Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, I can't. I work, I work Wednesday through Saturday, man. Okay, what you do? I work for a Dr. Pepper beverage company. You work for a beverage company. Yeah. Okay. Give me give me the Sabbath day holy. Yeah. Uh because you gotta keep it holy, bro. You said you profess knowledge you with us, right? Yeah. But you this is how you gotta be when you when you uh profess knowledge and you have to and you wanna be with us. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Come on. Remember the seventh day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy works. But the seventh day is the seventh of the Lord thy God. What day is that talking about? Saturday. That's talking about Saturday, right? First day of the week is Sunday. Right. Okay, so read on. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maid servant. So did you know that you can get a letter of recommendation and they they can switch your days to for you not to work on a Sabbath day? Because over here in the land of America, which is aka Babylon the Great. God have made it a way to where you can actually keep a Sabbath day because they respect or they honor uh, religious beliefs, right? I agree, brother. I so they, they so what you can't, so here's the thing, you have to find an excuse to do it. Yeah. Not an excuse not to do it.
We can, excuses, I can find excuses not to be here talking to you right now. But guess what I did? I found the reason why I should be doing it. That's how, that's how your mind got to be programmed. Find a reason on why to keep God's commandments. You understand? Hey, look, I agree with you, bro. Hey, hey huh? so listen, I honestly... Get him to subscribe look, before I agree, you do. I just, you know, go I, ahead. I don't go to church. I'm not real religious. We I, ain't I, either. I appreciate knowledge. Man. You know, I appreciate we ain't religious church, either. Church, people like that. Look, 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 let me show you something. The structure of religion, I'm... I'm What's ahead. this? And all of this stuff you got, listen. What's this? That's religion. This religion, right? <laughs> That's, religion. That's religion. We don't do that. That's we are against that. God is against right. that. That's the Bible is against that. You understand? So when you say religion, the Bible ain't about religion, brother. The Bible is a historical, the most accurate historical book that you will find is the Bible, brother. That's right. You understand that? Have you ever heard of Alexander the Greek or the Great, they call him? He's written in the Bible. What about um, Darius, the king of Persia? Yeah. Have you ever heard about him? He's written in the Bible. What about the Persian and Medes? What about um, the Romans, uh, Herod? All that is history, brother. Hey, so all, so when you say you don't do religion, we don't do religion either. So do you think we out here doing religion? We out here going through historical facts, showing our people who they are. Because you are ruler on the earth, brother. But but you're not living like that. No, you, no, you're not. Because, huh? Yeah, I understand. I'm, yeah, I'm with you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't really reach masses like that. But the people I talk to, I have a good relationship. So, but the thing is, you can't. If you're reaching these people and you're teaching them, you gotta seek the law. You gotta be teaching the law. But you can't teach the law if you ain't keeping the law. You understand that? Because what, what does the Bible call that? I can't tell you to be. I can't tell you to keep the Sabbath day holy if I'm not doing it right. That's a hypocrite. That's a hypocrite, right? So you can't be a hypocrite out here, brother. You have to be a brother that's about action. Read that. Listen to this. The book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 3. Talk no more so exceeding proud. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. And by him, actions are weighed. Talk no more so exceeding proud. So God is saying, don't talk proud with a proud speech. Like, hey, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I'm doing this, read. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. So the Lord is a God of knowledge, which means the laws of God. He said, that's what the, read. And by him, actions are weighed. Oh, no, I could just talk. And by him, actions are weighed. So God weighs the actions of a man. He don't give a damn about what you say out your mouth. He care about the actions that you're putting forth to actually bring forth what he's telling you to do, or the That's kingdom. Right. You understand that? Because action is only a, a, action is a believing word. If you believe that you're gonna get paid at the end of the week Friday, you're gonna go work that job for six days out of the week, and on the seventh day you get paid. You believe that's gonna that check gonna happen, right? But you took an action to do it. You understand that? Hey, but we want you to understand, brother. You got to keep the Sabbath day holy. I do. You, you, you do what? You know, Israel. Come on, so you know too. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you this, then. I work too, but look, we're talking about some of the busiest men on the earth right now. Look at, look around. We, 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 brother, this is what I'm trying to tell you. We work too. But we found this truth why to keep the commandments. I want to show you something though. I want to ask you something. I want to ask you something. One question. One question. One question. One question. One question. How do you keep the Sabbath day holy? My brother, how do you keep the Sabbath day holy? Brother Al. Brother Al. How do you keep the Sabbath day holy? Answer the question. I I don't. You don't keep the Sabbath day holy? What about the fringes? What do you mean the fringes? The fringes. Do you know that's a law we gotta keep out of the Bible? You ever heard this information before, Al? Huh? So those, those, see, that's what I'm telling you. These are more laws that you got to keep because you are God on the earth. You are God on the earth, but we're not living like God. If the white man is over us, how can another man? Yeah, we, hey, Joe, get him a subscribe. Hey, Al, my brother Al. So what's your nationality according to the Bible? Yeah. African-American? You, you an African? What, 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 um, what tribe you come from? Matu tribe. What, uh, north, east, coast, west, Western Matu. I'm not exactly for sure what they said, but if you're on the west coast of Africa, nine times out of ten, you are an Israelite, brother. You understand it? Nine times out of ten, you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Or you might be from Levi. Either way, because both of them was on the west coast of Africa. And Benjamin as well. But nine times out of ten, you might look like a Judite. So we're going uh, to say Judah for now. But the point is that you are God on this earth. So what happened to us? 
if we gods. You remember over in Africa, we was ruling the kings at one point, right? What happened to the black man? What happened to the Hispanic man? Huh? They polluted our brain. How did they come? How did they? How were they able to conquer us, though? So how did how did how did um how were they able to conquer us though? That's the question that I'm asking. They would do slavery though, right? What is a nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.